Next up is the VPX tank from Inhaler.com. These haven't been out very long and they come in both the mini and the large size. This one just uses a standard CE2. It is the only mini that I'm looking at just because I didn't have one and I wanted to try it. Um, they come in different colored tubes. Uh, this one's purple. Not all that exciting, but you get the idea. Let's take a look at the bits. The VPX tank from Enhaler.com, I'm not going to take apart and put back together again because I had to use tools to do that. It's got a fairly solid uh, tank. It's not quite evenly cut again, um, but they do come in different colors. It has the basic same design as the map tank itself. It has the top piece, it hits that silicon cup. Um, this is the smaller unit, but as you can see, I couldn't push that all the way down. In fact, there's marks on the bottom where I you know, tried to hammer with a screwdriver or a, a heavy tool to try to push those all the way in, and they simply won't go any further. So there are sort of unfinished gaps on the top and the bottom. And as you can see, that bottom cap is almost identical to the map tank. Same size, same kind of tapering, same height, same O-ring size, and the same thing for the top. It's basically a clone of the map tank, only not quite as well fitted and far more difficult to, to put together and, and take back apart. And it has a top for a drip kit, uh, a drip tip, same as the map tank. I did come across one little problem with it, and that as I pushed the drip tip in, that little piece of metal in the top cap went all the way down. Um, and I'm not quite sure how short of a pliers I'm gonna get that back out again, but there it is, the BPX tank. Given those details, um, this is pretty much a map tank clone. Um, I don't think the tube is quite as finely uh, cut. I don't think it's quite the same material to get the different colors. And those machine caps don't fit in there very well. That drives me nuts. This is really hard to open, really hard to close back up again, and I, I just don't think it should be that way. So um, it gurgles a lot too, but I think that's because it is the two and a half milliliter one, and there's really not a lot of room in there for the juice to sit before it hits that ceramic cap, which probably means I'm getting it too much in there. Probably wouldn't do that on a larger size, but this is the only one that gives you the spiffy color options. And the last unit we're going to take a look at is a relatively new model called the Torpedo Tank from Jonah NM on the Electronic Cigarette Forum. Um, he has a thread you can look up, search Torpedo Tank, and you will find it. He makes these in very small lots of four or five. You can get them in either brushed or polished, and they're about $40. Um, they are metal though, which will last a bit longer. Let's take a look at all the bits and pieces. And last is the torpedo tank. These are very nice, either brushed or polished metal ends from Jonah on the ECF forum. As you can see, the real tight, nice seal between the CE2 that's pushed in there and the metal bottom. And these are so nicely fitted that you can basically pull the top and bottom cap out with your fingers. Now, this is not to say that they come undone at all during use. You do have to wiggle a little bit they do maintain a nice seal. I have not had it leak at all, but you can get it out with just your fingers, which is very nice, makes it easy to use. A little harder to get the CE2 out of there. You really do have to push it down. He suggests using a nut that is wider than the CE2, but thinner than the width of the base um, to help push it out with a tool. The tube is nice and solid, much like the, the map tank tube. And while it's not perfectly even in how it's cut, it does appear that way when you put the, the nice top on. Again, this is the polished aluminum. And while it's not, you know, perfectly machined, it is probably the closest straight cut of any of the ones. And it's been kind of sanded, so it looks very well finished when it's all put together. And again, that's as easy as uh, just popping it in with your fingers and it gets 
a tight seal past that o-ring you can see how that's sealing around the plastic so no liquid can get through in there now this is so smooth that you can actually fill it with the top off make sure the edges are dry and then just pop the top back on with your fingers no syringe required which is you know kind of nice as these sort of tanks go so i was really impressed with this when it came and the drip tip fits nice in the top as you can see i've vaped this puppy pretty dry um i really like it i like shiny i don't mind expensive yes it is the most costly of them but even though it is the most solid construction in being metal it is the easiest to slip those ends in and out of that tube the tube is cut nicely it fits very finished into the caps on the bottom and the end it seals nice it's easy to fill just by taking that top off i don't need to mess with the syringe it's a little trickier getting the ce2 in and out because you're shoving it in and out of metal um he gave me a little trick about sticking it on a nut and then just pushing the center pin down and through um, but even so I think this might last longer than Delrin which I've seen some people crack their map tank Delrin bits um, that's a torpedo tank I really like it let's now go to the final results and the one to five ratings for all the different criteria for all of our different tank mods and see what we come up with So let's take a look at the final results of the Battle of the Tanks. We took a look at six tanks, the map, the VRX, the bottle, the storm, the simple service reservoir, and the torpedo tank. And these are their average prices available from the manufacturer. And this is what I think of them. Now these are my subjective opinions. The map wins, but it, just, it doesn't win in any particular category. It just wins because it's the standard across the board. My next favorite is the torpedo. A little expensive, but it has some great advantages in construction and, and ease of use and filling. For 10 bucks, you cannot go wrong with the nightlight tank, although you may not want to bring it out and about. The SSR is great for changing the CR2, has a couple other disadvantages, and those are the final results on tanks.